There are simply not enough homes for sale. The market can easily absorb a doubling of inventory. This is a recent quote that came out from Lawrence Yoon. He's the chief economist over at the National Association of Realtors. And it's an interesting quote because the past couple of weeks, I've been bringing you stats on what our local markets look like in relation to inventory coming on the market versus inventory that's being sold. So this week, we're actually gonna dive into what our weekly graph looks like. I'm gonna bring it up here in a moment. And we're gonna actually see these numbers for ourselves in the four counties that we're tracking along with the cities that are within those counties. So let's check that out. So this is our weekly market tracker. We are definitely not going to look at every single number on this page, but we are going to be paying attention to a few key points you know, within the counties. Um, and that's gonna be the number of homes that were sold last week, the number of homes that went under contract, and the number of properties that came onto the market last week in each county. So. The most extreme case that we have here is Bay County, and that's up on top there. If you can see, we had 22 properties that were sold, 34 properties in Bay County went under contract, and there was only 13 that actually came onto the market. So almost double the properties um, sold and almost triple the amount of properties pending versus the amount of properties that came onto the market. So Bay County is definitely a market to watch. Um, if you look down below a little bit, highlighted in pink as well, we have Saginaw County. It's a similar story there. It's definitely not as extreme as Bay County, but we did have 45 properties that were sold, 50 properties that went under contract last week, and there was 40 new properties that came onto the market. So um, properties pending and properties sold, definitely still outpacing properties that came onto the market, just not as much. But Saginaw, definitely still a county to watch. And if we go down a little bit and we look at Gladwin, which is right here, highlighted in pink as well, um, the numbers are smaller, but they still tell a similar story. We have 15 properties that were sold, seven properties that went under contract, and seven properties that came onto the market. So that was Gladwin County. Beaverton, definitely a similar story if you look below there. Um, but then Midland County, if you wanna look at Midland County, we had 17 properties that were sold, 25 that went under contract with only 11 that came onto the market. So, um, and if you if you can kind of see the graph, I know it's not very clear here. Um, it's a very similar story in every city that is on here, just about every zip code. We wanted to do this video today to bring you the local market facts and not just the national headlines that are out there. And if you want a clear bit version of this, or you want a PDF, definitely reach out and we can provide that to you. And if you have any other questions, you can always reach out to me or anyone on our team.